Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockrinder. Today's story is Mousejack. This week, researchers from a company called Bastille released a ton of advisories talking about vulnerabilities affecting many vendors' wireless keyboard and mice. Some of the affected vendors included HP, Microsoft, Lenovo, and many, many others. At a high level, these researchers poked at the proprietary wireless connection for all these different devices. And since these devices use different communication techniques, they had to find different types of vulnerabilities for each one. In the worst case, they found vulnerabilities that allowed them to actually inject any keystrokes or mouse movements into some of these vulnerable devices. This means if an attacker can get within 30 to 100 feet of a computer using one of these wireless devices, they may be able to just take control of your computer and do anything you could do. And using keyboard shortcuts and really fast commands, they could actually do anything from quickly download malware to transfer files off your computer. So it is quite a concerning threat. So what what should you do if you use an affected device? Well, according to the researchers, you should unplug it and not use it. That said, I suspect some of the vendors that make these devices might release software updates to fix this issue. I also don't really think this particular vector is being exploited in the wild yet. Bastille themselves haven't actually released any proof of concept code for these hacks, so I haven't seen real world attackers use this. However, now that everyone knows it's possible, it's just a matter of time. If you really are concerned with this, I recommend and maybe you move to a Bluetooth wireless device instead. By the way, Bastille has released some free tools that can help you scan your network for vulnerable devices. I'll be sure to include some links in the blog post associated with this video where you can find all the research and these free tools. Anyways, it was just neat research, and yet another good example of how the Internet of Things can have some unexpected ramifications to computer security. The average Joe probably doesn't look at their wireless keyboard and think that it provides a new attack vector into their computer, but obviously it does. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.